American car manufacturers face a difficult challenge as the automotive industry shifts towards electric vehicles. The parent company of iconic brands such as Cadillac, Chevrolet, and GMC have poured billions into their transition to the EV market. However, despite their significant investment, it appears that these companies are now struggling to stay afloat. In a recent interview, Tesla CEO Elon Musk offered his perspective on the situation. He explained why he believes these American car companies are on the brink of financial collapse. So today, let's talk about what Elon Musk thinks of GM and its future in the automotive industry. We'll get into the specifics in a moment, but first, you should know that operating a vehicle factory is no simple task. Additionally, this is not the first time GM has across difficulties. The firm declared bankruptcy under Chapter 11 in 2009 as a result of the worldwide economic downturn and a subsequent drop in car demand. After that, GM was able to reorganize its debt and obtain $17.4 billion from the federal government as part of its Chapter 11 bankruptcy procedures. They made a lot of costly investments to compete with Elon Musk and now they're in crisis again. Elon Musk has experienced the difficulties of running a vehicle company's first hand as he came dangerously near insolvency on many occasions, notably on Christmas Eve 2008. The Christmas Eve deadline for Tesla Finance was 6 o'clock. Otherwise, the year's final payment would have bounced two days after the holidays. The millionaire in the technology industry has now issued a warning to the automaker that has been business for a century. Many car manufacturers have seen substantial losses due to the ever-increasing price of raw materials, but GM is taking the biggest hit. Because of this issue, the company's profit margins have shrunk and the solution so far has been to increase the car pricing. So, for General Motors to succeed, it will need to figure out how to overcome these obstacles if it plans to compete successfully in the coming years. Now, inflation next year will also have a major effect on the company's success. This is why UBS Group lowered its rating on the manufacturer to neutral its price objective on the stock from $56 to $38. General Motors, especially in Europe, will experience the effects of the recession predicted by UBS. And General Motors, for its part, is in excellent form going to earnings season. The automaker's third quarter sales increased by 24% to 555,580 units on the back of pent-up demand and a more stable supply of semiconductors. After reporting a 15% decline in the U.S. sales in the second quarter, GM's fortune had turned around dramatically. General Motors, which has been on a roll recently, had quarterly solid sales and profitability. On the other hand, the company is currently facing significant obstacles that may endanger its profitability. First, GM is still having trouble with its supply chain because of the international chip shortage. This has resulted in lost revenue and increased expenses due to manufacturing delays and component shortages. The supply has steadied to some extent, but the underlying problems are still there. And the new regulation proposed by the U.S. government threatened to disrupt the semiconductors industry once more. Finally, when U.S. interest rates rise, borrowing money will become more expensive for GM and potential buyers of the company's vehicles. The Federal Reserve has increased its benchmark rate five times so far this year. Experts predicted a rate of 4.4% by year's end, and they now project that rate would rise to 4.6% by 2023. And although GM has been able to overcome these obstacles, the months ahead will certainly provide even greater difficulties. General Motors' bottom line will come under severe stress as a result. So, when Toyota started outselling GM in 2021, it was the first sign of trouble. General Motors maintains its sales lead in the United States for an incredible 90 years. However, in 2021, Toyota Motor North America finally overtook GM, which hadn't happened since 1931. The Japanese car maker sold 2,332,261 vehicles, compared to the American market leaders 2,218,228. Sales during the fourth quarter of 2021 were down by 440,745 units compared to the fourth quarter of 2020. In 2021, GM's U.S. sales amounted to a meager 2.2 million new vehicles. This is a 13% decrease from the projections made for 2020. In contrast, Toyota had a decline in sales of 28% to 474,378 new automobiles in quarter 4 of 2021 compared to quarter 4 of 2020. Now, before we continue, I'd like to thank you for getting this far. And if you want to know more about why GM is struggling, then make sure to watch this next part. The issue of chip shortages is a contributing factor, and it had a major effect on assembly lines at GM. According to CNBC, 
General Motors intended to halt or significantly reduce the production of around 200,000 vehicles in North America in the second half of 2021. The reduction was made when news emerged that GM would have to keep its North American plants closed for longer than initially planned. It is estimated by Alex Partners, a consulting firm, that the global automobile sector will lose $210.4 billion in 2021 due to the chip shortage. A further assessment by the consultancy firm estimated output losses of 7.7 million units in 2021. So why has Toyota been immune to the effects of the current chip shortage? Because Toyota had superior tools to deal with problems in the supply chain. Now, in the middle of these, the US government has repeatedly shown that they have a soft spot for GM. They don't even try to disguise this, and Elon Musk has publicly called out the Biden administration. Despite GM's troubles in 2021, the automaker was still on track to be the first to receive the bulk of a $1 billion corporate giveaway program in July. The US Department of Energy provided a $2.5 billion loan to the GM LG Energy joint venture to construct new lithium ion battery cell production facilities. And Joe Biden has made his support for General Motors' efforts to electrify the auto industry clear by openly praising the company. Given the overwhelming weight of favorable incentives, it's safe to infer that General Motors is mass manufacturing vehicles for next to zero cost. Despite Tesla's supremacy in the electric car business, Musk claimed the Biden administration was doing everything possible to ignore and marginalize the firm. He said in a tweet, I used to vote Democrats since they were largely the kindest party, but now that they become the party of division and hatred, I can't support them and I will vote Republican instead. The Biden administration has repeatedly ignored Tesla, the dominant electric vehicle manufacturer. Since last August, Musk has been in conflict with the Biden administration. The signing ceremony for President Joe Biden's executive order mandating increased sales of electric vehicles was not intended to him. But the top brands from automakers like Ford, Chrysler, and General Motors were all invited. Like GM CEO Mary Barra, Joe Biden seems to think GM is the best car company in the world. General Motors has temporarily suspended its Twitter ads in light of the current competition between Tesla and GM. General Motors' decision to temporarily suspend its Twitter advertising garnered much attention. The company has suspended its advertising as it evaluates the future of Twitter. Musk's acrimonious acquisition of Twitter and aggressive management of the social media side were questioned in reaction to GM's advertising hiatus. The CEO of General Motors was recently asked on CNBC's Squawk Box if the business suspended its Twitter advertisements as a means of punishment against Elon Musk or Tesla. Given that Barra has already stated that General Motors may ultimately overcome Tesla in the electric car market, the CEO of GM has indicated unequivocally that the company's decision to stop advertising is not intended as a personal attack on Musk. According to Barra, a corporation might undergo a significant transformation at any time, and they will check to see if they have a firm grasp on the emerging tenets of time. GM is still having trouble, as seen by the fact that the company expects the loss of $440 million on the sale of 44,000 Chevy Bolt EVs and EUVs in the United States by the end of the year. Meanwhile, the Bolt is the only plug-in car the business sells in significant quantities and is doing it at a loss. GM is also ramping up manufacturing two more battery electric cars, the GMC Hummer EV and the Cadillac Lyric. Furthermore, the Chevrolet Silverado EV and Blazer EV will be introduced next year. So, what do you think of Elon Musk's prediction on GM? Do you think GM can come back and overtake Tesla again? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And while you're at it, make sure to smash the like and subscribe buttons as well. Now, if you want to know about why car manufacturers are switching to electric, then make sure to click and watch this video right here and enjoy. And that's the end of this video guys. See you next time.